the Bill Belichick coaching tree is still one of the biggest in pro football. However, another underrated tree is growing in New England, and that stems from the quarterbacks that have backed up Tom Brady. Brady, long one of the NFL's best, has had plenty of QBs play behind him in his career. Recently, a few of these former depth players have landed notable coaching jobs. Zach Robinson's hiring by the Rams marked the third former Pats QB draft pick that got a significant NFL promotion, as Pro Football Weekly's Eric Edholm points out. That's now three former Patriots QB draft choices getting prominent NFL coaching positions this year. Robinson Kevin O'Connell, Redskins OC, Cliff Kingsbury, Cards HC, HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash mdhdoy 40 co Eric Edholm, at Eric Edholm, February 23, 2019 Robinson was a former 7th round pick by the Patriots in 2010. He didn't end up making the team, but he hung around the NFL as a practice squad guy on the Seattle Seahawks, Detroit Lions, and Cincinnati Bengals for a few seasons. Kevin O'Connell was a third-round pick by the Patriots in 2008. He spent just a single season on the team and had brief stints with four other NFL teams. O'Connell was promoted by the Washington Redskins and will serve as their offensive coordinator. Cliff Kingsbury also spent a single season on the Patriots after being a sixth-round pick in 2003. He has been in coaching since 2008 and recently took over as the Arizona Cardinals head coach. It's unlikely all of this is just coincidence. The Patriots may have specifically been targeting QBs with bright offensive minds and good leadership skills. Or, the teams hiring these former players could have been intrigued by their experience in New England's successful system. Either way, it's interesting to see three former Patriots and Brady-connected QBs get promoted to significant positions in one offseason. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The 2019 NFL Draft is drawing nearer and nearer. Scheduled to take place from April 25 to 27 in Nashville, NFL teams are starting to get geared up for draft season. With compensatory picks now distributed, there is more known about which teams are in a position to control the draft. And one of them could be the Patriots. The Patriots were awarded four compensatory selections on Friday. These picks were awarded due to the losses of free agents Malcolm Butler, Titans, Nate Solder, Giants, Danny Amendola, Dolphins, and Cameron Fleming, Cowboys, last offseason. It increased their impressive draft haul from eight potential picks to 12 and, even more impressively, they were able to land two third-round picks, giving them six picks in the top 101. With those picks now in tow, here's a look at the Pats 2019 full list of choices, 1st round, 32nd overall, original 2nd, 56th overall, via Chicago 2nd, 64th overall, original 3rd, 73rd overall, via Detroit 3rd, 97th overall, Sater compensatory 3rd, 101st overall, Butler compensatory 4th, 134th overall, original 6th, 205th. Overall, Amendola Compensatory 7th, 239th overall, via Philadelphia 7th, 243rd overall, via Cleveland 7th, 246th overall, Original 7th, 252nd overall, Fleming Compensatory The Patriots have a lot of options with these 12 picks, but Phil Perry's latest 7-round mock has the team targeting offense early and often with their selections. Of course, it is notable that all these picks are highly unlikely to remain with the Patriots. The team did make eight drafts they trades last year, and that's how they acquired some of these extra picks. Bill Belichick will have the power needed to move up and down the board as he pleases, so trades seem bound to happen again this year. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.